this is really the Asian century, and that's now the fastest growing of all the major economies in the world. If we can keep 7 to 8% growth every year from now onwards, India will be a developed country by 2047. That's the great ambition and vision of the Prime Minister and of 1.4 billion Indians. This is really the Asian century. This is the time of India or Bharat. Uh, India is now the fastest growing of all the major economies in the world. If we can keep 7 to 8% growth every year from now onwards, India will be a developed country by 2047. And of course, that's the great ambition and vision of the Prime Minister and of 1.4 billion Indians. Uh, sir, the, uh, India want to develop, uh, uh, Prime Minister want to develop India as a semiconductor hub. So, uh, uh, many companies are coming here, Mike Micron and some other companies, Tata's are coming with semiconductor plant in uh, Gujarat. How do you see uh, India uh, uh, leading towards this goal? India has a huge opportunity to embrace the digital and the green revolution. Because India is all, already quite central in the digital revolution. It has digitalized its own banking system much more than many other nations. I mean, basically every Indian now have a digital bank account and they can get support uh, into that. And India has an enormous opportunity in the new green economy. India will very soon be the second biggest solar economy in the world. It will go big into green hydrogen. It has enormous potential in wind power, in particular maybe in Gujarat and in Tamil Nadu. But there is an enormous opportunity for India now. Uh, climate and environment is a threat, but it's also an opportunity to create jobs and prosperity. So Chief Minister was saying that 50% M MOU has been done in, in a green energy area. Mm -hmm. So how this is going to uh, uh, lead can, uh, uh, India in green energy sector? To really embrace the green economy, you need the political leadership, which is there from Prime Minister Modi and from the leadership of the state of Gujarat. But you also need business because it's at the end of the day, businesses will scale and which will innovate, innovate. And what is great to see in India today is that you have these big companies, the Adanis, the Ambanis, the, uh, the Tatas, but you also have a huge forest of small and medium-sized companies mm -hmm. in the green sector. You have Renew, you have Avada, you have uh, um, <clears throat> Acme and so many others. And this mix of the big and the small and medium-sized, that will create numerous jobs and prosperity while going green.